It's Jizzle Bucks. I'm locked in with Music Exclusive TV. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Javaya. It is your girl, Tiana Taylor. Hey, Eric Ballinger. It's Tamiya. Kenny from the night. Snake Blood Nail. Y'all checking out Music Exclusives. A music Exclusives. Music Exclusives. Music Exclusives. Music Exclusives. Music Exclusives. Music Exclusives. TV. Hey. Yeah. You mean? Hey. Tune in. For real, for real. Yeah. Huh? Hey guys, it's Jaleesa checking in with MusicExclusives.com. I'm sitting down with St. Louis rapper Jizzle Bucks. How you feeling? <laughs> I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good today. Okay, so you're from St. Louis. So tell me kind of about life growing up in St. Louis and your first inspiration to music. Going to St. Louis is like, it wasn't, I wouldn't say hard for real because my family like, hey, I guess they, you know they sold drugs, so I was cool for real growing up. I ain't I know only thing rough about about growing up for real was just like you know like what was going on in the community for real, the environments and all that. So that was the only thing hard for real. But everything else, I was straight for real growing up. You know, hey, my daddy was gone though. My my old dude, he got life when I was two, so it was just me and my mama all the way until I was like 11. She had another child, so. That's what like I used to watch my mama, you know, struggle and shit, like stuff like that for real. That was hard. So it gave me, it gave me like ambition for real and like to just, you know, to make sure we were straight. So like by any means, for real. And I'm sure going through that at such a young age probably influenced you to hustle even more. Yeah. Um, can we hear some of that reflected in your music, just talking about that journey growing up without your dad? Yeah, you gon' you gonna hear it from for real, like from my first tape to my last tape, for real. You gon' you gonna hear like I don't put everything out on one, like me I gotta keep people interested. So I just keep like, you know, bits and bits and pieces till you it get all the way connected for real. So you gonna hear my story for real. So And did you did you have like communication with your father, even though he's behind bars? Like what's your relationship like now? Man, my daddy called me a hundred times a day. He want to know every step, everything I'm doing. Like, he ain't called today. Like, I'm telling him I'm in Atlanta. He going to call. Like, what's going on there? Like, he want he to know everything. He Because he tell me every day, you know, he lived through me for real. Like, like the time he doing, me, me and his time. So, he got enough time. He got life without. He said, you don't need to get out here and get no time. I got enough time for both of us. Yeah. So, he living through me right now. So. And tell me, what's your definition of Midwest street rap? Midwest, like, um, jug rap. I call it jug rap. Like, well, we like we jug rap. Like, Chicago got drill rap. We got jug rap. Like, we know how to talk about jug and high speed. And it's just, so we got that. We got that down packed. That's us. For real, St. Louis. So jug rap is talking about <laughs> jugging. <laughs> like, 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 you know, like, some rappers, like, you, any rapper can say brick. Any rapper can say crack. Any rapper, you know, you can say any, like, well, when you go, like, into details and when you go into, like, knowing what you're talking about, it's a way, it's way different. Like, oh, man, like, he, yeah, like, what he, like, like, you, you going federal, like, you know, like, people be saying, you going federal, like, you know, by saying, like, he, he telling too much, but it's certain stuff that you can rap about. It's just, you can, you know, just you ain't going to get in trouble from, so I am not I choose my words wisely and know what to say for real, my music. And so any like similarities, I guess, you know, most known uh, rapper come out of St. Louis, Nelly, um, would they have any examples of like jug rapping, including in his music or anything you can kind of give me that can kind of like put me in the- It's a, no, it's, it's a whole new wave going on. But yeah, I'm, I fucks with Nelly and stuff like, yeah, yeah he took, uh, I, went, I went to his show with him, one of his shows with him not too long ago. And uh, I think it was like, Denver is, uh, I'm trying, it was once, it was nice, like, the crowd, the love, all that, I was just, it, it gave me a different insight on stuff, too, so it was nice, but it's a whole different way for St. Louis music right now, yeah. And what has been, I guess, the biggest stepping stool or, like, thing that has helped you kind of, like, master connecting with the St. Louis audience, connecting with your fans back home, what has made you kind of put on in that city? Well, I can say, like, Cause like with the new wave of music before I, I got incarcerated, with the new wave of music, I was one of the generators. I was one of the persons that gave it the new wave. Then I got locked up. I came home. Not a, the whole St. Louis rap like that. So wow. I'm always gonna get respect because I'm one of the creators for real from the mud. So. And so tell me about your new project that you're dropping on the 18th. 
my new project, I, like I said, like it give you both both sides of the game. Like some people can just make a tape with just talking about like how they sold the most drugs in the world and never got caught. They can they can rap about that the whole tape. They never it never really give you no real story. It just give you you know fiction stuff like just stuff that can, like you know dreams. So I give you like from raw like I give it to you like this can happen, that can happen. You can go here. It's real there. Like you gonna take losses. Don't get, let that you know stop you. Keep going. Like I just want to represent like. Anybody can do it, for real. Anybody can do it, like. And I know you, it's 12 tracks, Heart of the Third. Can you tell me the significance behind the title? Heart of the Third is just like, I'm from the South Side and that's the third, we call it the third. Okay. And like, I'm, I feel like I'm the heart of it, for real, and I stayed in the heart of it. So it's from Heart of the Third One, Heart of the Third Two, the Heart of the Third Three, I got it. Okay. So I'm the heart of the South Side, for real. You know, I know you've had your struggles uh, with the law as well, but you overcame that case and that situation. You know, just kind of tell me about that journey and how you uh, want to influence other people in your same scenarios to stray away from that and to just stay focused on their goals. Yeah, I want to I wanna just tell you, like, if, if you're doing something that you enjoy doing, that you, you know, your all into it, your heart into it, just... Do that. Don't let nothing sidetrack you for real. Don't let nothing throw you off or let nobody tell you that you can't do that for real because I'm living proof of that. People, you know, I mean, people thought I wouldn't come home. I felt the energy. You can feel the energy in, through the phone. Like, you can, you know, it, it hurts you. But, like, every time, like, you feel a person felt that you wasn't coming back, it made you strong and just think, like, wait, wait, wait till I get, like, it give you that, like, so it, give, it keep you alive. Haters keep you alive. Real haters make you want to do it more. It make you want to, yeah, like help me, like what a little bit something to prove. You hear me? Yeah. It wanna it give you that, like yeah, I'm gonna do it just to make them matter. It's gonna make them matter. What they gonna say after that? So t tell me about some of your, I guess your collaborations on this project, producers you may have worked with, um, and any like future collaborations that you want to happen. Um, on this project I got, I got Amor D Huncho. I got a little half. I got Mitch 3600. Who else on here? I got AMR Freak. He did a recording from jail, right? From the federal institution. And that's all I got for real. That's, but in the future, congratulations. I want to I wanna do something. Fredo. Fredo Bang. Okay. I like his music. I like I like the way, like, you know I can relate. So him right now. Yeah. Lucci, I like Lucci. And I know you're dropping uh, a video uh, soon with your project. Can you tell me about the visuals? Well, I, I dropped one. It's you already dropped one. I dropped two. It's two on there. Bucks the Bully and Alone. And both of them, like, I, to give you a feel of it, like, really, I gave you a tester of just, like, this what you this what you're looking forward to on Friday on the 18th. Mm -hmm. This is what you're going to be getting. So I put a video, two videos out there and let let you know, get got the feedback, and they they love it. So that's what they what gonna be looking forward to. Like, uh, when it comes to like videos and visuals as a rap artist, um, how involved are you with coming up with the storyline, the concepts, the style? You know, with your actual image as far as the videos, or do you have like a team of creators that help you kind of bring that vision to life? I need to store. I'm, I'm storing like doing treatments, but it, with me, like I feel like if I don't get some, like that be on my mind, off my mind, right then and there, it's not gonna be right. So I like I record a video and I'm like, man, I gotta do the video now. I call up the cameraman right then and there. So it, none of the stuff be playing. I, so just be like, okay, we yeah, cause it be on my mind. Like I, I feel like two hours later, it's not gonna be the same thing. You know, so I, I, oh, we gotta do this now. It gotta be now, it gotta be now. Like everybody like, man, he, I work. So I shoot three videos in one day. If I feel like, I need to three, shoot three videos in one day. I'ma shoot three videos in one day. If I feel like I come to the studio, Louder, we doing 10 songs today. We doing 10 songs. The last eight, he tired. No, we doing 10 songs. I can't, when my mind set on something, I do it. And I, yeah, it's like that. So tell everyone where they can download, stream your music, um, connect with you on social media, and just keep up to everything that Jizzlebooks has going on.
You can find me on Instagram at jizzlebucks underscore J I Z Z L E B U C K Z underscore on Instagram. You can find me on Facebook, Jizzlebucks. You can find me on Google, Jizzlebucks. Twitter, Jizzlebucks3. And I'm on all platforms. So everything Jizzlebucks. <laughs> so, one last time, name of the project dropping on the 18th. Heart of the Third Three dropping on the 18th. That's a Friday. Make sure you download it. Jalisa checking out musicexclusives.com.